Hello everyone, and in today's video we are going to talk about the major tornado outbreak that we're going to be expecting for tomorrow for parts of the Midwest. Also, a some severe weather for the Midwest and Plains tonight. But before we can get into this video, I would ask you to subscribe if you do like daily weather forecasts. And make sure to turn on that notification bell if you do subscribe. So you get the all notifications for when I post a video um, and you don't lose and you don't see the video in time for the severe weather. Also make sure to share this video with any friends or family or maybe even social media to get this information out for those people in need. Um, but anyways, let's get right into this forecast. So right now we are looking at the Storm Prediction Center for today. They have issued a slight risk for Indiana, for parts of Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. This is where the severe weather is going to hit tonight. Mostly, the threats are damaging winds and large and large hail, and you'll probably see the hail up to about a softball in diameter. Also, a marginal risk around that. That darker green risk is a much isolated risk of severe thunderstorms. There is still a chance for some decent hail, about up to golf ball size hail, and some damaging winds with that also. You can look at the tornado threat for tonight, and there's a 5% chance of tornadoes for tonight in that brown area. That is the most highest risk of tornadoes um, for tonight. In that greener risk, that's a much, much isolated risk. So mostly if there is a tornado that will touch down, it will be in that brown risk. Most likely not be in that green risk. But it could possibly touch down in that green risk also. So make sure you have your warnings out tonight. Because these storms will develop and hit late tonight. Uh, we can look at hail outlook. Right over here. And there's a yellow risk, which is a 15% chance of severe hail up to softball size hail or tennis ball size hail especially in that yellow risk also in that green risk up to golf ball size hail in that much greener risk uh you could possibly see some tennis ball size hail in that green risk but mostly in that yellow risk the large hail will mostly happen the wind risk for tonight is pretty low. There's a 5% chance of severe wind up to 60 mile per hour wind gusts um, in that green risk. So that's where mainly of the stuff is going to happen. Uh, much isolated risk than all the other risks, but there is still a risk for that damaging winds. You can look at tomorrow's outlook. This is the mainly what we're looking at. And they have issued a moderate risk of severe weather. They rarely issue this positive pretty much uh, two or five two to five times a year pretty rare to see five times a year actually but th this is the second risk of the year in that red risk that is where all this most of this these significant tornadoes are going to happen and sometimes in that orange risk and possibly in that yellow risk that yellow risk is more higher than you think but just have a way if you're any in any of these risks you need to have a way to get those warnings out this is a really dangerous tornado outbreak that is on our hands in that darker green risk of course uh much isolated risk but if in your yellow orange or red risks you need to be in you need to keep an eye out on the clouds or on the sky for tomorrow and this is what we're concerned about they have issued a significant risk of tornadoes in that black outline there and also in that yellow and red risk that's where most of these significant tornadoes are going to happen that red risk is pretty much where that moderate risk is in, the, in that brown risk there is also a chance for those tornadoes in in that brown and green risk much isolated in that green risk but there is a chance for tornadoes in any of these risks. We can look at the hail outlook, and very large hail is expected. Um, in the actual uh, storm prediction center, 
uh, they were explaining it, and I actually saw large and giant hail is expected for, especially in that red and hatched part. This is where you're expecting a significant hail in that black outline. Also, in this pink outline, this is where you're expecting up to tennis ball size hail or maybe even softball size hail uh, in that yellow risk. And also in that green risk, you're expecting up to about golf ball size hail. So, um,. Bring your cars inside. There's going to be some pretty large hail that's going to be falling from these storms. We can look at wind, and there isn't a huge threat of wind. There is a 15% chance of damaging wind gusts up to 60 mile per hour wind gusts and up. Uh, maybe even 70 mile per hour wind gusts with these storms. And then that yellow risk, that's where most of these damaging wind gusts are going to happen. Also, in that green risk, there's of course a more isolated risk of these damaging wind gusts but there is a much a there's a much lighter risk for these damaging wind gusts from then the tornado and the hail risks now we're going to look at the future radar for this severe thunderstorm outbreak or actually no tornado outbreak all right so this is about the early well, actually, mid-morning hours, uh, about 10 a.m. I would guess about 9 or 10 a.m. You're gonna start. You're gonna start to see storms developing as early as 12 or 1 p.m. over here in those parts of Missouri and Iowa. These are where these severe storms are gonna start popping up. Once they get into this energy that is over here and the significant tornado threat, this is where these storms are really gonna start to fire up. Now we're at about 2 p.m. and these storms have really fired up and strengthened. Uh, and these these especially these cells that are entering this type of area. This is where these significant tornadoes, the possible significant tornadoes, are going to happen. And more of a squall line will happen of these severe thunderstorms. Even reaching up here, you're gonna possibly see some severe thunderstorms for parts of Wisconsin. Um, they will issue, they possibly will issue the highest risk of severe weather um, for about this area of, for, actually no, about that area, I should say. They should is is issue a possible high risk, that's the highest risk, and it's very rare to see. And then they're seeing those individual cells start to break up uh, in these northern Illinois and possibly that southern Illinois squall line that kind of broke up and now it's in individual cells kind of it came back together uh this is about six or seven p.m central daylight time now it's gone through the whole state of illinois and now it's going into indiana where that slight risk is and then that'll move into the ohio valley and then down here in kentucky those are some more stronger storms so if you're any of these uh, yellow, orange, or red risks, or possibly that pink risk that might get issued tomorrow, uh, you need to have a way to get these warnings out. This is a pretty dangerous system that we're following. If you want another loop of that, those storms will develop about 9 or 10 a.m. in those Missouri area, in that uh, Iowa area. They'll also move that way straight east. Some will move a little bit northeast, especially these ones. Those will move more of a northeasterly direction. And now, these storms that are moving into southern Illinois, uh, th there was a pretty good cell that would hit um, parts of northern Illinois. So I will be uh, keeping an eye on all of these cells. Tomorrow I will be doing a live stream. So make sure to check that out tomorrow. And then that's the radar loop for tomorrow but anyways if you did enjoy this video i would ask you to subscribe if you do like daily weather forecasts and make sure to hit that notification button if you do subscribe to get all the notifications to my channel it once i post a video it'll usually pop up with a notification notification that says just whether i just posted a video and then you'll usually click on that and then 
Also, share this video with any friends or family that you think would be in the path of this system. But anyways, stay safe.